Hello everyone and welcome to Dofus Unity Beta and beta being the very important part in this whole scenario. Dofus Unity port is something we have all been waiting for for a very long time. In fact, I pretty much said I'm not making more content until Unity gets here and beta is a fun way to get in here, kind of start dabbling our feet in it a bit and see what we're in store for. Now, one thing I think people really need to keep in mind is the fact that this is not like a new rendition of Dofus. It's not quite like when we went from 1.0 to 2.0, even though I think I heard they're officially calling this 3.0, uh, it's not got like some huge graphical change to it. There'll be some stuff that's different, obviously character models being a big part of that, but I think most people who are going to notice the difference are going to be the people that feel the difference. For the most part, it's supposed to pretty much play like it used to. It's still supposed to feel like the Dofus 2.0 and everything that's happened from there, but the interfaces are supposed to be better. It's not supposed to be laggy. It's supposed to move really smooth and it's supposed to have more life to it. I think that's one thing that a lot of people that have played Dofus for a long time are going to really notice a difference of is like our characters breathing here on the screen at the moment. They're supposed to be like moving water. The scenery is supposed to feel a little more alive. So just all kinds of fun stuff that's supposed to be there. I did hop on early this morning when it first went live and I created my Benjamite character because I didn't want somebody to hop in here and try to steal my name. I was like, no, I want my name. But that's the only character I created and I went through the little tutorial area. But we're going to go through this process with the other three counts. Yep, I signed up all four accounts. I realized that all my progress that I make here is gonna pretty much get reset. But the way I like to play this game is multi-accounting and I wanna see what the game feels like when I multi-account. And from what I understand, there's not a whole lot of people that are doing it like that. So maybe I'll find some bugs that maybe others aren't finding just because they're not running it like that. I don't know, it's supposed to be a bit more demanding on the system for each account you're trying to run. Hopefully my system's gonna be able to handle okay. I, got, I, I don't have like top tier equipment, but I got a pretty good PC set up here. So we're gonna put it through its paces. Okay, so as I mentioned a minute ago, there's my IOP. Oh, man, I miss Dofus, I really do. This game is fantastic. But I need to create three more characters. Now, I'm not looking to try to like try classes that I'm like totally unfamiliar with, stuff like that, especially since it's been a long time since I've played and I know character classes have gone through some changes. I also know some of the spell animations and things like that have also been changed through the porting process. I may not even recognize some of the spells that I do. So we got a Yop. Uh, I also, oh, let's see here. I want a Craw. I think I want to try to make an Agility Craw. Oh, oh boy. I think I want a Craw that's Agility and I am noticing <laughs> the background image here is not going away. I don't think that's supposed to stay there because it's kind of covering everything, uh, but so this is what the character creation screen looks like. It is cool seeing the character be able to breathe. And they got some stuff down here. It's a damage dealer. Let's see, what am I? Okay, I don't think I'm covering anything important where I'm at. Inflicts heavy long range damage, buffer, debuffer. Okay, so they got like some little details here. Um, see all spells. Oh, that's a very different interface there. Now, this is kind of cool. You can kind of like move all these around from what I understand. Um, class mechanics. Looks like you can maybe even sort through here. Um, so if I wanted just the protector classes, it highlights it down to that. Okay, okay. I'll see what's going on there. Uh, how do I go back to all? Or, or can I choose random class? Damage dealers. Okay, so I don't see a way to go back to having them all. What, what's this do? Whoa! Uh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure. There we go. So this is for single accounts. This is for multi-accounting. I obviously want to be on this one. Oh, okay, so it's also got it labeled right there. It's kind of a sorting method. Okay, I, I guess I can kind of see what's going on there. All right, so let's select a crawl. Uh, I'm gonna go with a, oh, I did that again. Let's see, where do, where do I select male or female? Okay, right here. It's where you can switch between the two. 
I've always thought the female crawl looks better. Although I gotta say, I'm kind of liking the new male look on this character. Now, I think there's supposed to be even more customizing you can do, like with facial features and stuff. That might be something that's waited for later, because the beta is supposed to go in three phases. <laughs> you can have a patch over one eye. You know what? I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Can you do a patch with the... Oh, there's no patch for the female? What's up with that? I got to say, though, I really kind of like this, uh, almost as a rogue vibe to it. That's interesting. Well, you know what? We're going to go with a, a pirate craw. I hear they are good. <laughs> oh. Bring on the corn, everybody. Okay, random colors. Oh, my goodness. He kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, uh, was it Night Nighthawk? Hawkeye? From the, the Marvel movies? Wow. They get really wild with some of these. Oh, okay. Um, let's go something a little more. Okay, so I want agility. I want my colors to kind of more easily figure out what... Okay, so skin color... Here, I want the colors to be where I can look at the color and know what element I was going to go. <laughs> Let me finish my thought on that real quick. Can I change the patch? Is the patch... But I, I don't like that it's not like highlighting. It just says close one, two, three, and four. It doesn't tell me what those are. I mean, I guess I could click this to get an idea. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Purple. Hmm... Oh, I don't mind that. That's not bad at all, actually. Uh, I definitely want a different hair color, though. I feel like... I feel like a gray. Maybe for the hair color. Uh, hello? Oh, I gotta select it. Okay. Yeah, that looks awesome. I like that. I think I accidentally changed this, though. Wasn't this like a neon green? There we go. Uh, oh, man. I'm not going to put a ton of thought into the the names of these characters because I know they're going to get deleted when the full release happens. Uh, slime shot. There we go. Oh, no, no, no wait a minute. Flinging boogers. <laughs> oh, the capital letter must be used at the start of the name. And another capital may only be placed after a hyphen. Oh, do I? Oh, I have my all caps on. That's what it is. Okay. Blinging boogers. Hopefully no one's taking that name. <laughs> ah. That's awesome. I gotta say, it does move smooth. And I guess, look at that. You can zoom way in. Now, I do notice... Oh, wow, that moves fast. Okay. Um, I think I did see some people... So, I've been kind of listening to a couple live streams throughout the day today, people who are on Twitch. Uh, and I think I did hear a few people say that, like, when you zoom in, it gets kind of fuzzy. I feel like the character models... Mm, no, actually, it's getting a little fuzzy on the character models, too. They're more crisp than the scenery is. At least this guy is. Um, but it does move smooth. Okay. Uh, well, let me get my other two characters created. And then we'll go through the little tutorial and see what that looks like. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's see here. You guys know Benjamite. Like I said, I've went through the intro area. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. I can stretch that out. Let's go and shrink that down some. I don't know how much I'll need. Wow, that's a little too small there, I think. We'll bring it up some. Uh, we got the map over here. This we're familiar with. Here we have our characteristics. My goodness, this is going to take some getting used to. Uh, push. Hold down. Display monster mode. Okay. Um... 
we'll leave all that be for now. So let's meet the team. We have Flingin' Boogers, which you guys saw me create here. We have Miss Cash. I gotta say, I did not like the look of the male version of the Inu, but the female version is actually pretty awesome. I thought she, as soon as I switched, I was like, oh, she looks so cool. So yeah, made a female Inu. And then we got the, uh, one of my all time favorite classes towards the end of my Dofus run, the Foggernut. And she's gonna be the healer of the team, so I named her Ada. <laughs> All right, I know it's corny, but y'all know that's how I roll. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother trying to like read through all this. I wanna see how much different everything looks and feels. Okay, so like that is a cool thing how you can move just by everything. You know what, the music's kind of loud. Let's turn that down some. Now I did turn the music off on the other accounts because I, I was watching one Twitch streamer, listening to one Twitch streamer, and they had the music turned on on all the accounts and it was like creating this echo effect. So I was like, oh, that's good to know already. So I turned it off on the other ones and only have the music on on this one. Uh, what else do we got under here? Always show theatrical role of effects. Now I've heard some people saying I'm not gonna go through here and change a whole bunch of stuff because I've heard that it's not saving. So as soon as you log out and you log back in, uh, whatever you've changed in here reverts back. Now I don't know if they've patched that already or not. Uh, this launched this afternoon. It's been going, I don't know, maybe half the day now, 12 hours or so they've been going now. So, oh, you know what I just realized though? because I didn't have my first account. I'm assuming it works kind of like the uh, the previous Dofus where, you know, any changes you make to your setup here, when you open your following accounts, they follow the same setup. But because I didn't have that setup yet, these guys are all gonna need to be tweaked individually. Okay, so we got inventory, recipes, Okay, uh, I think I heard the encyclopedia is supposed to work way faster. B for the, oh, you know what? I was gonna say, maybe I can't use this while I'm still in the tutorial. Uh, wow, that, that is far snappier. Much better, recipe. Okay. Average price, <laughs> prices are gonna be all wacky here for a while for sure. You know, I would definitely say, I feel like all the text is kind of small. Uh, there's probably a way to increase that. I think accessibility is what I heard. So it's on average, let's go to large. Let's see if that made that a little, yeah, that's, that's better. Oh yeah, absolutely, whoa. This elephant pets mount thing. That's cool looking. Okay. I like this. I like this. Uh, all right. So, oh, did I put on the... Yeah, I did put on the ring. Okay, so everything there is pretty normal. So we still do the little, you know, hover on the side of the screen to move. I didn't know if that was going to be a thing that changed or not. Apparently not. Yo, check out this ready button. Can I move you? Oh, this whole interface moves. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess we'll just stick you here for now. I kind of like that. It looks clean. Ask for help. Block players. Okay, so we got that normal stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of covering that. Oh, how can I select it? Wait a second. How do I get that to stay up? Fight options, general. Mm. Well, I was gonna move that dialog box, but it only shows up when I'm on top of it. We'll have to see if we can find a way to do that here in a minute. Oh wait, it's telling me to move and then shoot. 
Okay. Well, uh, this is definitely something I noticed earlier when I was running my eye up. We currently have like actual code names showing here versus probably whatever the UI names are supposed to be. So I'm sure they will get that patched pretty quickly. Summary. These are nice. So we got reward bonus, number of turns, time it took, XP. Okay. Okay. It's kind of, I like how they're doing this where they're trying to s make sure you look where you're supposed to look. But the fact that it's, it's squared like this while the map goes at an angle, it feels almost weird to me. I, I almost wish that they would turn that so it was more like a diamond shaped or something. So it went with the flow of everything. That's all right, though. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, you have items. Man, this feels like so far away over here. Can I make this bigger, too? Increase the size. Yes. Oh, yes. Whoa. Get back here. We're not ready to flee more burgers yet. boogers yet. Okay, can you make them all bigger? I do like all the flexibility that they give you for... You know, moving stuff around. Whoa, why'd you pop up here? What are you trying to do? Uh, font size here. Let's go ahead and make that large also. Stretch it out there a little bit. Can this be made bigger? I feel like everything's just a little too small. Oh, rose. Oh, look at that. You can have... That's nice. Oh, it doesn't size back down though. Oh, these are two separate bars. Yo, <laughs> you can make your XP bar go the length of the screen. <laughs> That's kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll make it. That way, every fight just seems like I get an epic amount of XP. Okay. Big module. Wow, big module is not that much bigger, is it? Okay, we'll go here. You know, I'm doing all this, and it's only going to be all set up like this on this one character. Uh, identical in combat, different in fights. Oh, look at that. You can set it up. That's a nice customization. Orientation. Oh. Okay. I see what you're doing there. Uh, if I'm going to do that XP thing, though, I think that's got to be on the bottom. It looks weird floating in the middle of the screen. I thought I'd maybe be able to fill up like the whole thing. Let's do that. Here we go. That's not so bad. Okay, let's put all our stuff on here. Let's see how we look. Do we look epic? Look at the I do like how the, the arrow quiver is on the outside of the cape. That looks cool. I do like the movement. The fact that our characters are, you know, they, they, they seem alive. Even the cape kind of, kind of sways a little bit. That's fun. Okay, okay. Onward. Now, one thing I have noticed, and the little bit that I've watched, um, some Twitch, so... Like, see how my character is, like, alive and moving and, you know, <laughs> animated? But then the enemy just sits there. It's very static still. I'm guessing for them to go through and add animations to all the previous previously existing creatures was probably going to be a massive ordeal. My guess is the newer stuff... Whether, you know, low level or high level. I bet anything new they add to the game is going to be more animated like this. That some of the older stuff, maybe they'll kind of retro go back and change it up in the future. But my guess is they were like, let's just go with what we have for now for the old stuff. And we'll move forward with new stuff. That's my guess. Did my health change? Okay, you can still do the three things here. Look at this dedicated space. I do like the flooring here. Uh, let's see. Do they still have like a... 
like a tactical mode or anything like that in here? I feel like... Don't these look like they're being cut off? Is it because I increased the size? Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself now. <laughs> it it was not displaying correctly there for a minute. Okay, we'll we'll look more at menus and stuff once we get out into the main area. Okay, so open the quest box. Here's our new interface here. Quests in progress. Okay. Oh. Completed. Huh. Step 15. Okay, I do like that you can go back. Obviously, in Carnum tutorial doesn't matter so much, but on the bigger quests that you might be doing, it'd be nice to be able to flip through there. Here we got our achievements. In progress. Now, I think I heard somebody say they've changed the rewards. Do you still get... Okay, wow, you get two instead of ten. Wasn't it like whatever resource you dropped from the boss fights, wasn't it ten before? Maybe I'm mistaken on that. It's been a while since I've played, uh, but I thought it was like ten. Yeah, that's a big difference. But a lot of people said, you know, it destroyed the economy. Wow. Okay. He's so happy for us. Characteristics. Okay, so this is the new characteristics setup here. I do like that I can kind of like drag and move this stuff all around. Uh, let's put you down here just so I can, so I'm not covering things on this side. So, oh, if I start filling this in, does it, Oh, maybe I have to actually place the points. Okay, so we got... I do like this here. See, one of the things that I'm curious about, and I'm sure this is something that they've hopefully put a lot of thought about too, since they were rebuilding all of this kind of from the ground up, is how new player friendly is this going to be? Now, I don't mean as in like, how easy is it going to be? My thought is more like how... Um, is, he, is it going to be able to learn? Because one of the reasons I made so many guides and stuff on my channel, I really focused on a lot of new player stuff because I was like, I, I want new people to come in and play the game. And if a person has a hard time even getting their foot in the door, they're like, what all is going on? They're not gonna know to just go look up a Dofus wiki or go to Dofus Reddit when they got questions. You know, they're not going to, go to all these outside sources, most people won't. You'll have some that will, especially if they had a friend invite them in to begin with. Uh, but if a brand new person's like, oh, what's this Dofus game? This looks really cool. And they get in here and they go through the tutorial and they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then they're like, well, what? They, they have no idea that strength affects these things. They're just like, oh, strength makes strength spells hit harder. Well, they're missing out on a big aspect of why you might want to go strength or agility or, or something along that line. So I like that they've got some things in here that are real easy to hover over top of. So it increases spell damage for water, prospecting, and initiative. That That's nice. I like how they do that. Hopefully this is going to be extremely new player friendly. Now what's this thing on the bottom? Oh, okay. There we go. So that's if you hover over this, that's telling you the point scale on those. Agility. Now I did notice this earlier too. Look at this. You can go past the number of points that you have available and it just puts it negative up here. Now, it won't actually let you place it, but hopefully uh, I'll try to submit a ticket or something for that. Be like, uh, you should just have that stop at the number. Because look, you can, you can put like 600. I put 600 points into agility. Be nice, right? Okay, and confirm. Oh, yes, it does work like I thought. So... This, as you fill in your characteristics, it's going to begin to display and move into the direction of how your character is balanced. In fact, uh, where's my eye op? I think I already put a few. I didn't even notice that when I was doing this earlier. Yeah, so I've put these into strength so far, and it's sticking straight over towards strength. 
Wow. Now, I wonder if this takes into consideration your gear. Like, if I get some new gear, can I wear level seven? No, I can't wear that. We'll have to see. I hope it includes gear. Vitality. Vitality initiative. Vitality initiative. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was like, surely something else I've got on should give me another characteristic. But it does not from this set. That's awesome. Okay. Um, Guild Alliance. Okay, so we do still have a summary or an advanced tab here. That's nice. Okay. Clues. Collect our prize, it says. Okay. Well, this is all going pretty much as normal. Why'd that... That's a little large. Let's shrink that down some. We'll get it right under my picture. There we go. If I was actually playing to play the game, uh, I would definitely be going through reading this. See if they, you know, change the dialogue a little bit. See if it's all in English. See if, you know, there's maybe some errors there at all. Uh, but I'm not really working on that here. Sweet. You can increase the font size individually. I mean, that's kind of nice. I do wish I could just do it and it would change all of it. If it's one thing I'm kind of having mixed feelings about at the moment when it comes to these dialogue boxes, it looks... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It looks almost out of place. This looks like just like a normal Windows pop-up kind of thing, you know? I don't know what you would want to do here to try to change this up some. I, I don't know. But I, I don't know. It just it, it doesn't feel like it belongs. It's it, it I, it's hard to describe. Maybe you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but it seems a little bit out of place to me. OK, so we got our. We'll go through here. Snag this stuff. Okay, you can still click and they'll go to the new spots automatically. Very nice, very nice. Um, oh, this hasn't been scrolling. There we go. All right, well, this definitely still all feels like Dofus, don't it? All right, so here's our profession list here highest to lowest all ingredients okay that's where you're missing you got your categories here only display what i can craft can you still click and yep okay combine all right that still works as normal very nice head to the exit all right let's put on our new pieces we're fully decked out now, aren't we? Go on the other side. Arrow looks like it's pointing over here again. Now, I did notice a slight little loading lag right there. It's like it stayed gray for just a split second. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay. Now, they did make it very clear to us. They've made it very clear in, in multiple comments, both in the discord with us content creators and also on the forums with the general public this is truly a beta we're gonna find errors we're gonna find mistakes the whole point of this is we're supposed to try to report those so that they got over the next three months while they're running all this beta they can work out a lot of these kinks and stuff and i think yeah i'm not covering anything this report the bug button report a bug button uh that takes you straight to the forum page i think where dofus where you can actually submit the errors that you find uh, i tried it out earlier i submitted one this morning when i spotted one and it, it wasn't too difficult to follow all right start fight see how like sits gray for just a split second it's kind of weird Ooh. hmm okay uh. Okay, let's see what some of the other spells look like here. Oh, it looked exactly the same except for it was blue instead of green, and it had ice come out. All right. I do enjoy this little shape they have here for the go button. That's nice. All right. 
repulsive shot. Oh, now why did it move both of them? How's that work? Inflicts fire damage on and repels the target in an AOE. Oh. Ba boom. Okay, that one looked a bit different. And we got one more here to see. Lashing. Okay, that one looked quite different. I liked it. Got our XP bar going across here. Nice, nice. Okay, we're almost through the tutorial, everybody. Because it's not looking like they've like changed this up at all. All right, run over here, grab our three points of interest. Thank you. Boom. All right, there we are. Ask where Trinetti is. Okay, let's grab this. And I know there's a lot of people that are like kind of speeding through the game because there's some, they want to get to those higher levels and see what kind of errors and stuff they can find up there. Plus, I think Ancom is uh, giving out some titles that you can earn depending on what kind of milestones you make during the beta, the phase one of the beta too. So once they get to phase two and phase three, I don't think it applies anymore. So uh, I don't plan on pushing for any of that myself. I like to casually enjoy the game. I'm going to try to play the game like I would play it as if I was playing the game. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like I'll overlook some stuff or I'll find things uh, that I, I didn't really mean to if, I, if I'm kind of rushing. Uh, oh, characteristics. That's what I was looking for. It's like, what am I doing? Okay, distribute points. I do... Okay. Oop. Confirm. And that's everything, right? Okay, well, I tell you what. Uh, I will run my other two characters through that tutorial, get them out here, and then we're going to run around and do some fighting up here in Incarna. Maybe we'll try to take out some quests just because I know that'll get us some XP. And... Uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, well, it definitely took a bit of work, but I got them all through there and I kind of went through and adjusted all my stuff to look similar. Now I did log out of all the accounts, log back into just my main account, set everything up and then logged into the others to see if they would replicate the setup and it did not. So hopefully that's a feature that will come in time. But as of right now, I had to go through and custom each one of these, which is why you'll notice there's like slight differences in some of the heights and stuff. But for the most part, I got it pretty close. One thing I found that's really cool though, your XP bar, you can change it. So like if you click on this little gear, you can change the color of the XP bar, which I think is really awesome. Uh, in fact, what I might do, since I can't really tell which account I'm on, it's like it doesn't display the, the picture of my character or anything. So I won't know. Uh, so I'm gonna pick a color that matches each one of these. Now, another thing I've noticed is, um, so I'll gr go green here. Three of the accounts are on the same instance. And unfortunately I have one that is not. Uh, actually that one's already set. And we'll go with a red for you. That will hopefully, at least for now, Kind of give me an idea of which I can look down here at the XP bar, maybe figure out real quickly which character I'm on. Uh, so let's see, where's the social media? Let's see if I can add a friend. In-game contacts. Yeah, you're definitely one of them. You're one of them. Achieve. Oh boy, this is kind of messy here, isn't it? Uh, can I stretch it wider? Oh, it looks like it's still loading. Now, if I just click, this server is currently unavailable. Please try again later. It shows that I'm level 1000 in a guild. Okay, so obviously that stuff's all incorrect. Um, let's hide offline friends. 
hide my connection status from in-game content. No, we can turn that on. How can I group up with you? Do it. Can I hit the... I am on the same server as them, right? I mean, I guess there's no way for me to verify it real easy here, is there? Uh, change server. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop down to Astro real quick so that I can... <laughs> I sound like galloping horses. Why'd that pop up? And, um... We will see if, if I can get them all on the same instance in Incarnum, and then we'll come back up. Hopefully that's going to work. You know, I am kind of surprised that there is that slight delay. I don't know if that's a if that's a beta thing, something they're still kind of working on. Uh, hesitate before leaving. Descend. Okay. Hopefully. Okay, there I am. I was getting nervous there that maybe I was on the wrong server there for a moment. Okay, now let's see if we can group up. Hmm. Can I just straight up invite you this way? Invite to group. Open achievements. Achievements. Uh, let's see, where's it at? Except that. Make invite report. Hmm. Oh no, that's me. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. Accept. There we are. Invite to group. I gotta get these straightened out. And invite to group. I got them in different places. Uh, close you. Accept. Boy, we're all grouped together now. Man, that seems so tiny. Is there a way to make that bigger? Limit fight to group members. Refuse invitations. Two rows. Oh, I don't see anything here where I could I could try to make that bigger. Doesn't that seem tiny? I mean, I know it doesn't need to be like big, but still. I barely see my characters on there. Okay. Well, I, I also can't seem to make it go... Hor Maybe it's an option under here. Orientation, horizontal. There we go. I was going to stick it down here. Hope oh, I got to do that with each character, don't I? That's going to get old real fast. Hopefully they get it set up fairly quickly where you can... Because I did appreciate the fact that you could do that with just one. Go in here, make all these changes, and then when you logged in the rest of your accounts, they would just duplicate it. Hopefully that's coming back. Okay, so I put achievements right there. I guess on at least some of them. Oh, this is probably from going down to Astro. And close you. Okay, let's go back up. I didn't want to go down there yet, but we're all grouped together now. The sound of us all running. That doesn't sound like running at all, does it? You know what vibes I'm getting from that, right? Those aren't horses. You got two coconuts and you're banging them together. <laughs> Ah, that's funny. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to try to complete some quests and follow her suggestions and do some fights up here and see if we can get some gear. I know that Peewee's kind of the big thing people are trying to run out and get right away, but uh, from what I understand, there's so many people doing that now. I could probably get those for next to nothing in the market without even having to fight a Peewee. But like I said, I'm going to play the game as if I were 
playing the game, and I want to see how it feels. So, like, you know, every once in a while, I'm going to grab the wheat and stuff, because I know we're going to need that for some... Whoop! Okay, we got this... I need to get all that stuff. Wait a second. Somebody still had a question mark over here. Did I not pick it up from everybody? Oh, it's gone now. We'll chalk that up to a bug. Okay, let's fight something. Join. 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 There we go. Join. Did we get them all? We got one still missing. Now, I'm definitely noticing I can't seem to... That's the word I'm looking for. Like, I used to be able to... As fast as I could flip through the screens, I could I could hit the ready, ready, ready. But if I if I like right there, okay, they did ready up. I was like, I didn't hear a single person ready up. Oh my goodness, things are so weird. Oh, you hear the overlapping music? Oh no, what happened? Why did we lose part of that screen for a minute? <laughs> the music is hilarious. Uh, why can't I move? Oh, I'm on the wrong character. That's not the right character either. Oh my, I might not have enough time to... Nope, I ran out of time. Okay, that music is... Driving me nuts! I thought I had it turned off on the other ones, but I forgot to do it once I reloaded. But at least now you guys got to hear the, uh... So yeah, we only have one now. See how much more clear that is? Okay, this is my... Uh... I don't even know where she's at. There she is. <laughs> wow. This is a mess. I can see why people are, like, trying to play just one account at the moment. Because this is confusing. I don't know why I have that... Maybe I should go to window mode. Maybe that would make things less confusing. Let's see, how did I get that? The graphics. Let's go windowed. Maybe. I don't like that that bar is popping up. I don't like... Why do we have the my group showing when I've got the group here? I got... I got stuff moving all over the place. Look, ah, it's a disaster. The ultimate boss. I do like that it's showing the picture here of whose turn it is. You would think that would help me get to the right character a little faster, but... Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, we moved on to the next person. There was no, there was no chime, no sound telling me that I, we moved on. Okay. Get over here. I like this new move. First of all, it looks amazing. The little drone dude that comes down from the top. And it's an AoE. I don't remember the Foggernauts having that before. Okay, so it should be my Inutroph's turn. Hmm, Miss Cash. This is messy. Ba boom! Okay. Slight delay there from the completion. Did we drop any? Oh, okay, so here's where you would want to go if you want to see what you dropped. Okay, characteristics. Who we got here? Who be this? There we go. Confirm. Wow, I almost, I almost feel like I have too many dialogue boxes that are popping up. It's, it's, I guess the best way I could describe it at the moment is it feels clunky. Now, I know part of that is the fact that I'm part of the clunkiness of it all. My characters are not in turn or in the correct order. Um, but like, look, my mini map, it moved on me again. And my 
my icon that was showing me my team is gone. I wanted to hide it, but I only wanted to fight, hide it for the fight. But apparently I need to leave it out even for the fight. Let's see if I can find where that's at. Maps, chat, graphics, aura, general text themes, invitations. Okay, so you can come up with all your, your different sounds and stuff for that. Um, looking for, I guess, interface. Display the grid. Is it displaying a grid? I don't see a grid. Oh, the world map. Okay. Game map. Uh, I still don't see a grid. I've turned them all on. Bring entities to the foreground. Oh, wow. That's interesting. They're almost like transparent. Is that supposed to be like so I can find myself if uh, I get behind something? I remember that was a thing they had to do sometimes. Um, hmm. I am not finding. I don't know where that menu went to. What's that bring up? XP. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are the different menus. That's quests. Okay. There's chat. I do like, kind of like that you can just turn those on and off. Where's my... I don't have one for... Oh, maybe this one. There it is. <laughs> Alright, pro tip everybody. This thing up here has your different menus that you can turn on and off. My display, new display, import display... Oh, it's grayed out. I was like, ooh, I want to try that. Lock module positions. There we go. I bet that will help. Oh, sorry. At least keep things from bouncing around all over the place. Bring you out here. Let's go lock. No, it's, I'm going to lock it on all of them. And lock. There we go. Okay, well, I don't think we dropped anything that we could actually wear. We just got some loot. Let's move right into the next fight. So I need to put... Let's see, where's my... I wish I could have something on the screen. Man, you are in the way right there. Let's stick you over there. What I usually did was I would put an item, usually a piece of gear, on my item bar representing the character that I was. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to do that with yet. I guess I could run down there and try to buy the peewee stuff. That would at least give me <laughs> something to do that with, right? All right, so we're going to try this again here in a second. So we got my inu first, and then we need my... My eye up. Right there. Okay. And then we need flinging boogers. Uh, there we go. Okay, we got ourselves in order now. Let's see if this goes a bit smoother. Join. 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 Uh, join. Oh, you know what I'm realizing. Hmm. Do I got one of the, one of these are still in window mode. Uh interface. In your face. Where was that? There we go. Full screen. Okay. Uh which character am I on? I don't know. <laughs> They're all set up different. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What's the one where I could do, like, identical in combat and outside combat? Different in fights. Okay, I'm going to switch this. Not now, because I want it to match what I have on the outside, not what I have in here. And I'm worried that it's going to make my outside look like this if I switch it right now. 
Okay. So, oh great, my eye ups first now. Where are we at? Oh, I up lost their turn. <laughs> All right, Fogger's turn. Uh, here we go. I am so glad I'm not trying to do like some big serious fight because I would be doing terrible. Okay, next up should be you. Ba boom! That was a terrible hit. I do like that fun little animation. In turn. Nope. I said in turn. Hello? Yo. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, not you. Come on. Let's move. There we are. Well, I gotta say, at the moment, it's definitely it's definitely uh, pretty heavy on the buggy side, isn't it? We're gonna try dropping down to just one account. We're gonna see what kind of a difference that makes just running around as a solo. Because we are not having much luck like this. Just a bummer. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and your menus are up still. So, Flinging Booger wishes to trade. Yes. Let's see how this looks here. Oh, we have dropped some stuff. I didn't even see it in the... Oh, wait. That was from earlier. I'm going to grab the resources and stuff that these characters have because I'm going to use it for doing like some quests and stuff. Uh, so, I'll just do a quick swoosh right here. I'm just going to move everything over and we're going to drop down to just my IOP. Okay. We are down to just my YOP. Okay. Level... Board. Can I put on in? Oh, no, it's not it either. Can I put on any of this yet? That's a seven. That's a nine. Okay, so nothing I can change out just yet. Um, let's do a fight. Let's see if it goes a little better. Like so. Now I don't know if any of these moves have changed. Applies a shield to caster. Inflicts water damage. That I've used a few times. This one inflicts fire damage. Removes MP. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> ba boom! In turn. Yeah, I can tell you already. It's moving much better at, at solo. At least that experience was. And it probably helps too that my stuff isn't like moving all over the place on me here. So that, yep, that'll get both. All right. In turn. Does it like to zoom in? Oh, whoop. Oh man, yeah, look, look how fuzzy like the edges and stuff are. And man, it moves so fast when you're zoomed in too. That's funny. Uh, okay, well, well, bummer. I'm not gonna be able to do near as much there. Okay, let's run around and do some quests. Get ourselves some levels. Uh, I think I already talked to her. I would have to say as of right now, let's see, is that my quest? Let's see more. Uh, yeah, I would say as of right now. In fact, I, you know what I want to do? I want to kill the music. Let's just listen to the sounds. They got some great music. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the new intro music. I feel like they did a really awesome job um, revamping that intro. It's like, it's got a nostalgia feel to it, like the original Dofus music, but it's just very clean and crisp. Feels more modern. I like it. Get to work. But yeah, there's definitely some things that is that okay let's go back to large like i feel like this should be the normal size font that i should be able to make things even slightly bigger than this i'm probably covering this over here can i can i move you oh they tell you you gotta you know follow three five or ten quests 
Hide right, automatically, automatic resizing. We'll turn that on. That's kind of a nice option. Oh, and you can like change the opacity of the background. That's cool. I like that feature. Oh, I could make, oh, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, it feels like there's a lot that still needs to be ironed out. Um, I'm going to assume... Oh. Went right into another song. Okay. You know what? It feels weird with no music. We're going to turn it back on some, but I'm going to put it low. There we go. Um... Yeah, it feels, uh, you know, I, I hate to put it this way. It almost feels like it's not ready for beta. Although, you know, I guess I can't say that. I haven't played a lot of games in beta. Um, so it's not like I know if this is normal to have this many errors. But uh, some of these things I feel like uh, we shouldn't be seeing as an issue... Like, like dialog boxes, or the the these things just randomly moving on us. You know, that seems like something that would have been spotted kind of easy. I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong. I know I've hit that little lock button now, so maybe maybe that's what is the solution to that. Uh, I'm still feeling a hint of lag from time to time, but again, that was probably because I'm multi accounting. But I was under the impression that multi-accounting should be able to run just fine. Um, they might still need to work out some kinks. But, you know, I, I shouldn't be having issues tabbing between the characters and, you know, doing multi-accounting. At least that was my understanding, that it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but I definitely can't. Not very well. And my system, you know, they said that you have to have at least, uh, they recommended, what was it, two gig of RAM per account or four? Maybe it was, maybe it was eight. I don't remember. I have 64 gig of RAM in this system. Uh, and I've got a, a 4070 graphics card. You know, so I got, I got. Like I said, it's not top tier, but it's a pretty beefy boy. I've been running some pretty big games. So I don't know if it's an optimization thing on my end is the reason that it was acting like that, or if it's if it's just a Dofus thing. This is the first day of the beta. You know, one week from now or one round of updates, and it may be a whole different experience. You know, they might be able to patch a, a bunch of... Uh, Small things really fast. Quality of life kind of stuff, you know? But there are some things here I absolutely love. Like, I, I think being able to change the XP color, XP bar color is pretty cool. But see, look here. This has dropped, even though it's locked. Like, I can't move it. But look at that. It's covering the XP bar now. When it wasn't, when I locked it. At least I don't think it was. I'm going to try it again. We'll scoot it up. I wish it kind of would snap if you got real close to the edges, but, you know. Huh? Lock. Okay, can I move it? Okay, can't move it. All right, we'll try that out. Uh Oh, where'd my quest go? Here we are. Take the test. Uh, I could probably take that test now. I don't remember it being very difficult. I'm hitting pretty good. Oh, man. So you guys have to let me know if you've been trying it, how you liking it, uh, protest, start to fight. Uh, what class did you pick? I've heard some of the classes are working better than others. Now, this is a different layout. You used to be able to cheese this character real easy just because of the layout, but they have... Oh, look at that. She can reach all the way across there now. It's going to feel more like an actual test now, I guess. Hmm... Not quite. Let's go back. Yep. I see what you're doing. Try not to try not to get out here where I can hit you. Ah. Fair play? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. There we are. 
Don't make you work for it. Bada boom. Okay, straight across this way. Oh yeah, you're mine. My character went invisible there for a minute. Did you see that? <laughs> I like went transparent or something. But yeah, there's that moment too. And then I'm only running one account, not four. But you see where it's like, it's like it pauses at a gray screen for a brief moment. It's really kind of weird. Going to hunt. And my quest menu keeps disappearing on me. Uh, I got it set to max. But it's not showing my latest quest that I just picked up. See, so I have it. Here we go. Right here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't add them autom I thought it. I had it set to add them and automatically scale with it. So, you know, one thing that I'm sure people are going to be leaving comments on this video is, are you back? This looks cool. I don't remember that looking quite like that before. Uh, you know, are, are you back? Has Dofus Unity brought you back? I'm back to try it out and to dabble with it. Now, I don't want to invest too much time into like creating new characters or anything like that because it's all going to get erased because you'll eat, you'll have one of two options if I'm understanding this correctly. Uh, either one, they're going to have brand new servers. These guys look almost slightly transparent there. They're going to have brand new servers for you to start brand new characters on a brand new dofus uh so you know everybody's going to be at profession level one and it's going to be the grind everyone wants to it's um, almost gonna be like an osatopia but it's just regular dofus um or they're going to have other servers where they're going to bring over all your characters from the 2.0 version so like everything you've done up until this point your characters will still be those characters but you'll be on the unity port of the game I invested a ton of time leveling professions and I have like no desire to try to go back and redo all that leveling. So it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to want to start completely over. But at the same time, the best way to get to see everything that's new is to kind of, you know, start over. Okay, that time I added the quest, no problem. Um, so I'm a bit torn on what I want to do. I, I definitely don't want to mislead people and tell you all that I'm back and, and ready to grind dofus and stuff again, because I'm definitely not. I have a, another YouTube channel. I have people coming over from this channel from time to time because they're like, oh, I didn't realize you had another channel. Uh, yeah, it's Bingemite Gaming, and it's basically a blind let's play channel. Uh, right now I'm playing through um, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Dark Souls 1, and then on the weekends, I'm adding Kill It With Fire, which is a really, really funny game. Uh, I picked up the zap, but it's still showing a question mark on it. You know what? I think I did remember hearing somebody say that it's doing that still. Um, So, I, you know, I plan on playing some beta. You know, I, I just paid for a subscription. I paid for all four accounts, but... It's not looking like I'm going to be able to play all four counts, at least not here at the beginning. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm sure there'll be some videos pop up here from time to time. But uh, but no, I don't want to mislead anybody and, and have people thinking that I'm back and I'm ready for lots of dofus because at the moment I'm just I'm just tapping. I'm just getting my feet wet, as you might say. I want to see it just like you all want to see it. Like a pancake. I need to read said pancake or the quest will not work. Boop, not that. There we go. Now, somebody was saying if you click this, there's no way to get. Oh, yeah, there's not. You can't click this and bring up the recipe. Like, these hot links are nice. Oh, with that one. 
Oh, because that was a beast. It took me to the beast. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually still covering this. I wish I could scoot this. Um, but if you click on an item, there's no recipe on here. And there's no link to take you to the recipe. Maybe they can make it where the name up here. Well, I mean, I guess I could do it right here. Now, I could go to my encyclopedia and I could type in something here. Let's see, consumable. Incarnum bread. And I think I can get the recipe here, right? Share recipe. Oh, wow. Wait a sec. Click it. Click. Alt. Uh, let's see. Alt click. Hmm. Craftable. So if I right click on this picture, I can then select recipes. And it'll post it up here. Yeah, that's not very convenient, is it? I am, I would be blown away if they wouldn't actually make that where you click this and it takes you to the, the recipe. Can you still get to it? Um, maybe it's underneath options here. Nope. You used to be able to see what you could craft from your inventory. Recipes. Okay, so you can still see recipes here, display. Recipes I can craft. Fat tummy potion. Okay. Well, that it's good to see that still thing. Wow, you could see everything. If you didn't, if you didn't uh, narrow that down at all, let's give me my estimated value down here. Gosh, everything just feels so small. I, I wish I could make the font a bit bigger on all this stuff. I wonder what font size this is. Like, you know, just from a, a value standpoint, I wonder what this is. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably a six. Because I feel like eight is kind of like standard size font. Like this might be a little bit big, but it's also bolded. This is a little bit small. So if I had to guess, this is probably six. This might be 10, because I feel like normal font size would be somewhere right in between there. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe maybe most people find this fine, but like all the icons and stuff, I don't mind them necessarily being small, but I do wish I could make them kind of bigger. Interesting. Oh, I can get a nettle. It's mine. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yo, did you see the person all of a sudden shoot across there when I pulled that? Wait, I thought I would pick. Why does it say you got a quest for me? Oh, let me guess. It's a bug. Let's step out and step back. Okay, it's gone. Okay, it's gone. All right, what else can we do? Oh, we still got somebody over here. We need to make a Gunga Dun. Yeah, baby. Well, that was exciting. Interesting. So it tells me I got my new spell. It shows me all three levels there. 572 and 139. That's kind of nice. Mm. Alt. Pin the tooltip. Controlled to combine bonuses. That's interesting. Spells. Okay. This. Hmm. I don't know what I think of this. Because the box is showing up right on top of everything else. It is clean. I gotta give them that. I got a feeling these numbers being displayed is probably an error. That's probably not supposed to be showing up on there. But I do like it's like you would click and I might be covering a little bit, but you would click which side of this you want to be on. It's probably snappy. I like that. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, so this is a more condensed version. 
That's a little bit easier, but man, they got to find a way to separate the boxes here. The detailed box from the spell boxes. You see what I mean? It's more noticeable here. When I hover over top of pressure, I don't want to see the details of pressure blending in with everything else that's behind the box. You see what I mean? Like over here, at least it's off to the side, but even the fact that it's all black or dark blue bordered still makes it feel like it's all one piece. This is actually the easiest one to read on the whole thing because it's almost, almost completely separated. You see what I'm talking about? It's not hard to figure out what you're looking at here, but you look at one of these, you got, you got two spells kind of hovering right there at the top. That's kind of messy. And you can't drag it and move it. Like, like it's not going to let me go over there and grab that box and push it off the side. And if I move this, those move with me. So it, it's not like I could put this over here so that when I hover it, the box is still showing over here. See what I'm talking about? Now, this is a little easier, but it's still popping up right on top, and it doesn't need to do that. It should be off here, or it needs to have a different border. If that had a white rimmed border around it to separate it, that would that would work too. Yo, check it out. I just noticed too, it's got like this little timer of how close you're getting to that spell. I like that. That is really cool. So like, I mean, it's a small thing. It's not super noticeable, but I could be like, oh, yo, check it out. I'm like halfway to getting this spell, but man, I'm a long ways from getting that one. That's kind of cool. I do like the colors. That's really nice. Got a little textured color uh, pattern in the background on each one of those. That's nice. I like that. Display all acquisition levels. Oh, you could. Okay. That actually, that's not too shabby right there. I like how they did that. <laughs> okay. I played around this little menu long enough. Okay. I don't like that this keeps popping up on top of that each time. I wish I could keep this separated. Um, We'll go max here. I'm gonna keep putting it into strength. I wanna see once I change gear, if this begins to alter some, cause I wanna see if the gear is calculated in this or if it's strictly based upon my points. That's one reason, I mean, that's typically how you build one of these characters anyways, but I want to see if that's how it's affected. I don't think I can wear anything I've dropped yet. Yeah, I got to get seven for that. Wow, I'm moving so slow because I'm like scoping things out, checking things out. I'm almost a little nervous to even submit. Oh, that's not what I want to do. To submit a request of errors because Ancama's probably got so many being submitted already. I almost want to wait a week or two, and then if I'm still spotting stuff, like right here, these spots are still showing. Although, maybe it does say exhausted. Maybe they want them to still show. I preferred it, though, when they disappeared, because that's going to get confusing. If you keep running on the maps, you're like, oh, these are all still here. I think they should have them change color slightly so you can look at it without having to hover over it, you know? Because right now, with all of these points on here, you would have to hover on each one to see which one's back and which one's still exhausted. But if they made it uh, a slightly different color or something, maybe a, a reddish tint to represent that it's it's gone at the moment, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so we've crafted you. I'm just going, doo, 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 just run around. This will be the longest video ever created of somebody just going through Incarnum. Do you see that? See that little pause of gray? I don't know what's causing that. Hopefully that's something that'll work its way out. Uh, I also noticed too that uh, the numbers are not popping up. Like when you harvest, remember how you used to be able to see how many you got? I wonder if that's intentional. Agree to help. Grab you, grab you. Uh, is there any... Oh, I need to go create the potion. Okay, yeah, those switch from craft to show. Oh, 
You know, I do miss Dofus. It's hard not to boot up 2.0 just so I could play it. Oh, no game quite like Dofus. I've been having an absolute blast with my other channel. Played some fantastic games and experienced some amazing stories. But Dofus, man, there's nothing like it. I still love me some Dofus. Uh, let's go ahead and craft another one get that. Oh, I thought I had enough to get another level, but apparently not. Now, did the nettles disappear when you plucked those? Okay, so the nettles disappeared. So I got a feeling these are supposed to disappear. Because why would they make one change and one not? Because there's no difference. Yeah, there's nothing showing up different between those. Mm. So, uh, you have to let me know also, is, um, is Dofus Unity, what you've seen or played so far yourself, is it enough to bring you back? Uh, I know, you know, maybe you're like me and you're waiting for this. Uh, have you seen enough? Or you're like, nope, I need to wait and see some of these bugs get worked out first, which is totally understandable. Uh, okay, can I? Okay, why not get some more work? Mm. I need to talk to Nina. I thought I talked to Nina. Maybe I didn't. Okay, can I? I don't know. Do you think I could beat this rat yet? Oh, wait a second. I gotta buy a lemonade. Ask for a drink. In fact, I might as well go ahead and buy my me milk, too. I'm gonna need that for the recipe. Boink! Attack. Hopefully I can pull this off. Ooh, he gets to go first. Not cool. Oh, come on. There we are. Uh, ba boom. See how hard he hits. Oh, he healed up. And he still got to attack me. Not cool. Mm. Eat that sucker. I do like that you can hover over top of an enemy and it shows you the stats over there. Again, I'm kind of covering it, but... See, like, the, the net... You know what? I might be able to... Okay. We'll go, we'll go there for now. I'll be covering part of the map. That's all right. But yeah, it's nice and clean. Alt to pin. Oh, nice. Okay, so I could pin it. Horizontal. Oh. That's pretty cool. Actually, I like that. Okay, well, knowing I can move it, I'm putting me back. That's where I want to be. Ooh, you got a luggy rat. There we are. Level 43. Wow, somebody's level 43 already. Announce. There we go. Did that finish the quest? Received lemonade. Oh, I guess it just wasn't enough to get me a level. Okay, okay. But my quest, my quest log is gone again. It's so weird that it does it. Is it when I go inside? I don't... It's like I don't notice it when it does disappear. I don't know what's triggering it to disappear. All right. I see a nettle. All right. Well, I got to tell you, the fact that I'm just going to run around with one account and not four, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make this very entertaining. It's not like I'm running with a group or anything like that. I'm going to be running around doing the Incarnum stuff you guys have done seen a million times. So here's what we might do. I'm not going to end the video just yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around here, do some things, get some levels, try out some more stuff, and then I'm going to uh, just put a swoosh right here with some final thoughts of Dofus Unity so far. Uh, what my experience was like just kind of running around as a solo 
character here. Okay, well, I've been running around a while, knocking out more of these quests, doing some more fights and things. Um, so here's my final thoughts at this stage. Day one of beta, and I think that's important to note because I'm sure Ankama has a plethora of feedback already, not just from a data standpoint, but because of everybody that's been submitting feedback of things that they're spotting. You know, Ankama has been working on this version or this port for years. So some of this stuff that we're spotting, they might not have touched for years. You know, it was stuff that was worked on way back then and they've been building and moving forward. Uh, it's not like they're touching every aspect of this game every day, every week, every month maybe. Uh, so we're probably spotting some things that weren't an issue when they were first made, but they've become an issue later on and they never noticed it because they never went back to the beginning. You know what I mean? So uh, day one, there's definitely a lot of bugs. When it runs smooth, it runs good. You know, your character running across the screen and stuff, it, it looks good, it feels good. Uh, there are weird moments where it's like, all of a sudden you'll see a character just slide across the screen. <laughs> kind, of, kind of an odd thing there. I think I've noticed that most when I'm doing any of the profession kind of stuff, like harvesting wheat or uh, plucking the nettles or something, so I don't know if it's an animation thing related to that. Uh, there is still a a gray pausing frame that seems like it pops in uh, when you're loading into a fight. Uh, I don't know if that's meant to be there or if that's just, uh, and it was doing it when I was running four accounts and it was doing it when I was running one account. So it's not necessarily because I was multi-accounting. It's definitely not very multi-account friendly at the moment. The fact that I have to individually go through and set up my menus and all that stuff for all the accounts. I couldn't even do like the uh, shift four option there at the beginning on the actual like launcher so I could launch all four accounts at one time. It was not letting me do that. Uh, maybe it's a different key now. I don't know. Somebody can let me know that in the comments if it's been changed. Um, so I had to log each character individually. I had to set them up individually. The sound options overlapping one another, kind of odd. Um, yeah, so I, I would say if I was going to play this solo, I think I would have a lot of fun with it. But I'm, I've never really enjoyed Dofus as a solo account player. There's lots of people that do. I'm just not one of them. Uh, so it's definitely not hooked me yet because of the bugs and stuff we're finding. And not to mention, it's, it's Dofus. You know, it is like Incarnum here is like Incarnum there. But we just have a little bit more life and movement. Uh, I do wish the enemies themselves showed the life and movement like the rest of our characters do, I feel like that would definitely make it feel um, like it's all been brought into Unity and not just part of it. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's like you've got a little bit of 2.0 and then you got 3.0. It, it's almost like we're a 2.5. <laughs> you know, we're somewhere in the middle because there's certain things that are definitely still 2.0 in the Unity port. So I think those are things that'll probably work themselves out uh, as they continue to move forward. And I think what'll be the big kicker is when they add new content, it's probably gonna feel like it fits better to what Unity can provide for this game, you know? And I think they'll maybe go back and update some of the older stuff so that it, it fits better as well, but it's probably long-term on down the road kind of a thing. But I had fun. Um, I will be back to play a little more of this beta. I, I, I hope to hop in at least once a week to see what has changed and how it's running. Maybe over the course of the coming weeks uh, and months, we can kind of evaluate how things have changed. And I don't know, if it gets to the point where I can multi-account, because you know, the biggest, from what I understand, the biggest reason for the whole thing of them rebuilding all of this and, and bringing it over to Unity is so that it's in a current usable software because the Flash software was becoming obsolete and they were, were not able to do much. And it was the reason that we assumed all those, I guess I can't say all, but a great number of those bugs and issues and crashes and stuff we were having, we, we kind of all said, oh, it's because it's Flash, it's because it's Flash, because it's Flash. You get over here for day one of beta, and you're like, 
I feel like I'm seeing some of the same things here that I was seeing over there. And you can get a little nervous about that. And I totally get it. Uh, but hopefully over the coming weeks, we will begin to see the real benefits of this, of Unity versus that. Because ultimately that was the goal. They wanted software they could work with that would provide a lot of background improvements. Uh, you know, but the, the game itself still looks very similar. But I had a good time. Uh, I had fun running around my little eye op. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sold on character models still. I, they, I think they would grow on me after a while. But right now, they, they, they seem a little odd to me at times. <laughs> some of the character models I really like. Uh, some of the others I'm like, uh, I don't know. I like the, the old Inu uh, female. That, that's an awesome new look. I really enjoyed that. And the female Foggernaut looked really good too. I like that model also. But we'll see how this continues to evolve. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Have you played Unity? Are you hoping, do you, what would you like to see Unity bring to the game? Are you uh, solo accounting? Are you multi-accounting? If you're multi-accounting, how's it working for you? Um, you know, just let me know your feedback and then I will try to maybe try to put some of that feedback together and see if I can pass it on to Ankama as well. I know they're, they're getting feedback from so many sources right now. I don't know if they'd even see it, but you know, I'm willing to try. That's it for this episode. I hope y'all had a really good time and it was nice to get to talk Dofus again. Real good thing. And again, if you want to see me on my current channel, I post a video basically every day. Just go to Binge Mike Gaming. I'll try to put a link in the description. And uh, yeah, we can come over there and have a good time as well. That's it. Continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.